So what is single touch payroll? Well, it's been touted as the most significant change in a decade, that's by the ATO. Uh, I recall about 10 years ago, the ATO launched an initiative called Standard Business Reporting. And I guess uh, it's culminated in single touch payroll. In fact, for some of our customers that are running payroll today, if you look at the um, payroll preferences screen, you'll see a tab there for standard business reporting. That's been the first iteration of single touch payroll. Um, what is it exactly? It's just simply a matter of reporting your payrolls as they're processed or as they occur to the ATO. So at the end of each pay, the employer's got to report all that information to the ATO. Um, just because that's being reported by payroll, there's no end of year reporting to the ATO um, on the part of the employer. And um, there's not, it's not necessary to submit payment summaries to the employees any further. So in some respects, it could be regarded as a benefit. Why is it being introduced? I guess it depends on your point of view. Um, from the ATO point, of, from the ATO's perspective, it's largely compliance. Uh, we talk about aligning the payroll with regular reporting. When you submit your single touch payroll, uh, the relevant uh, fields in the BAS will be updated automatically, the W1 and W2 field, W2, two fields, that's for the employers. Um, again, it's to identify non-compliance more quickly. These are actual reasons <laughs> coming from the ATO. Better collection of unpaid entitlements to the employees. And as always, uh, to penalise employers who repeatedly offend. So clearly we're talking about something that um, we need to take fairly seriously. Having said that, um, there are clearly benefits on, on both sides. Um, you know, for, for the employers and the employees, the employees can get a, a MyGov, uh, MyGov login from, from the, um, the ATO and they'll be able to go in and view uh, their pays and just ensure that their superannuation payments have been made, etc. cetera. Uh, what will be reported and when? Okay, as, as I mentioned earlier on, you're essentially you're reporting each pay run um, as it happens. Um, it's it's year-to-date payments, um, obviously salaries and wages, PAYG withholding tax and superannuation payments. And as I mentioned earlier, it's, it's for each completed pay run, uh, the ATA referred to this as a pay event. Now, I've had some questions to date. You know, what if the pay run isn't correct? Look, that's fine because as I mentioned, we're essentially reporting year to date figures. Um, so that would be corrected in the next pay run. And um, in some applications, there's actually um, an update event where it actually goes back and corrects those pays. So how do we get ready for single touch payroll? From the, from the ATO's perspective, it's a matter of the number of employees. If you have 20 more employees from the 1st of April, um, then you have to be compliant from the 1st of July 2018. 19 or less, then we have an option to start from the 1st of July, 2019. Uh, we, we would prefer to have all of our customers running payroll compliant as soon as possible. Um, there is a, uh, on the website, uh, a, a document there where you can actually uh, verify uh, the headcount from the 1st of April. Hopefully, um, you have an OzKey. This is a login that's given to you from the ATO and um, access to what they call the ATO Access Manager. Uh, we'll be using this to firstly register um, our customers for standard business reporting. That's the first step. To do that, um, we have to request a my.myob login from MYOB. I can do that on your behalf. Then we do the registration for standard business reporting which is a mandatory step for a single touch payroll. Um, from um, the customer's perspective, it's simply a matter of just making sure that um, all the mandatory, da ma mandatory data is up to date. Clearly, um, well, 
certainly in the case of employees, th there is validation checks um, before the, the payroll file is sent. And if any data is missing or in an incorrect format, um, it, it will actually fail. Having said that, there's a lot more preparation on, on our part um, in relation to pay items and, and various things that need to be uh, configured correctly um, before the single touch payroll uh, can be submitted. I'll just wrap it up quickly. This is a release schedule from MYAB. We are currently in, um, in pilot phase and I'm sure we'll get an announcement from MYAB shortly for an update for all our customers um, and, and which time we'll be able to um, start using single touch payroll.